Boom. <laughs> Salutations. Um, as I bring my YouTube channel videos to an end, this is a special time I'm on like the final run here. So one I wanted to talk about, something I wanted to talk about because I think it's very important, and that is um, the remote viewing blind target that I gave my friend Jessica Jones uh, that was the missing 411 clusters. I gave her two targets actually, they're blind, and one of them was the missing 411 clusters themselves, the origin, and the second was, I took it, I've always taken an interest in, in the water deaths from his book, um, A Sobering Coincidence, David Pauletti's book, uh, More Missing 411, Sobering Coincidence, uh, that is the, um, the water deaths is what that is. And, what I have interest in that is that when those people were actually um, chemically autopsy, they were found to have like 25 <coughs> percent, excuse me, 25 percent of the GHB in their body that you could get at like um, a, a a date rate the, the, or a, a date or a club. So I think that is really really sufficient. Is where on earth would you get 25 to 30 percent of GHB in your body when you're out walking the wilderness like that? So in essence, they were actually dropped in the water and uh, put in the water and they couldn't swim. What a horrible way to, to die, to drown in that way too. Most likely consciously aware and then you can't move and you drown in that way. And I would suspect also that tying this in to David Pauletti's missing 411 contact, uh, I'm sorry, missing 411 UFO connection, excuse me. That one, and he talks a lot about people being dropped, most likely. And you know, that's not the first time I've heard that. People being dropped out of UFOs. Abductees being dropped and not being lowered the same way that they're floated in with the levitational stasis beams that I've done videos on this channel about. So I think that is very, very relevant, all right? 
And mind you that um, I try to never give my friend Jessica bad targets that could like put her in jeopardy or something like that. This one was a little more risky, so I'm giving her these two targets and have her, I really kind of pushed her a little on getting the data and getting it together with the, um, you know, just everything with each, each one of these because I knew there would be synchronicities between them. And she was really good and did it and kind of got a little ill after that because it's just a lot to take on. So I have much appreciation for her. Um, during this, and what I will do is link in the um, content of this video, which is the video that her and, I, her, her and I did on her show, Remote Viewing Investigations with Jessica Jones. I've been on there a few times. It's been really cool. Much, many shout out to the uh, audience there. They're very kind to me, so much love. Um, but uh, it's on her channel. I'll put a link to that show up here so you can just look at it. So I'll go over some of the data and kind of summarize it here. But if you look at that show, she goes over the data concisely. And Jessica was really cool in letting me put the data up on this uh, on the pictures there. If you saw it, and the images will be at the beginning, at the beginning and the end. So I did that with complete permission from her. Okay, and I was really cool with her. So that's um, you know something to check out. And it's this is about the data and what she found out, and it's uh, fascinating to me. All right. Um, <clears throat> for starters, she saw she was seeing these portals. Portals going into underground, all right? She also saw UFOs and basically these portals leading to um, underground laboratories. And these laboratories were, had you saw a number of different type of extraterrestrial species, but also, I don't want to call them military or whatever. There's some sort of organization that works with that looks similar. They were there too conducting these experiments on people, different types of experiments. And then that kind of ties into what, so a couple of ways we can tie that in is also she had seen UFOs too during the spline target. So that kind of again ties into Pauletti's missing 411 UFO connection movie. And those, uh, those, uh, those workers, um, uh, the forest or whatever, had saw that UFO come up and pick up that deer, or it was a cow rather, I'm sorry, and fly off with it and almost hit the hit that tree or hit that, that something and then maneuvered around it, okay, a precipice or something, maneuver around it. And they described it, and when they put that picture up, to me it looked like some type of an advanced drone to a point to where I wouldn't say that was just extraterrestrial, perhaps crypto-terrestrial, but I think it's humans too, mostly human involved. And when I say that, it's um, taking into account some of the mutilations seen that Linda Moulton Howard reported on, and she goes about as far back in these cattle mutilations as anybody I know. And, and she, that, that, that lady that had seen one being taken up, I think she was under hypnosis from Dr. John Mack, but she talked about seeing this cow being taken up and the, the, the operation was done with it inside, and what she saw. And that was by beings that looked somewhat gray-like, I believe, something like that. So that's kind of tying in there, but I think that we might be dealing with more of that, these, this amalgamation of this organization and extraterrestrial forces. You know, there's people that talk about that a lot more than me. But tying this in real quickly is that I, you know, I do a lot more regressions and spirit releases than people are aware of in hypnosis. And um, it's been quite fortunate because it's very rewarding work. But um, I had a client who described being they had a pretty much a lifetime of contact but when they were younger they were on a um, Girl Scout mission and on a trip a camp camping trip and they see this thing come over everybody's sleeping and they're kind of in the twilight of sleep or kind of that type of a sleeper and they see this light come up and they describe it as being a triangle it looks quite similar to what people describe the TR3B looking like and it emits a light, and then there's a small, small blackout, missing time for a second, and then awake, she's suddenly on this craft. And it feels a lot like sleep paralysis or sleepwalking. But on this craft, as her whole troop is up there, all of them, even the person that was watching in the adult, and they're going through some sort of experiments with these extraterrestrials, a different type that were more like Ebens, they sound like to me, but there's some type of this organization there with these black, uh, 
uniforms on. You know, I'm always looking for insignias, but there weren't any on this. And what it was, I can't remember. But anyway, that's just something that has come up several times. And that's not the only client, something like that has come up. So when you start dealing with the missing 411 and kind of, I think, these abduction things and this organization that's working with both, this needs to be noted, okay? Let me make sure I go through my list and I get everything here. Um, something else in the, in the data is Jessica talked about, she kept seeing submarines and submarine passages that were connected to inner portals, okay, inner earth portals. And that's even on the drawing that you see on that data that's on the, on the pictures there. So I think that's very, very interesting. And you know, the first things she kept saying to me is, it seems like I'm looking at something under the Vatican. Like I'm under the Vatican. She kept saying that again and again. Especially when referring to these submarines and this underground things and some of the laboratories. I think that's very, very noteworthy. And also the clusters, the clusters, she started naming these areas like in Nevada, Nevada where you see there are these clusters. And she's kept picking up on certain cities and areas where there are these clusters on these maps. And for the record, I put up a bunch of different maps that she just saw. One was the Bigfoot map, the, um, okay, the, um, okay, mi the missing 411 cluster maps, the Bigfoot sightings map, UFO sightings, the sonic booms, and the underground bases, the dumb bases. Those five things, look at those. They all match up. Very, very interesting, and that can't be a coincidence, all right? Um, okay, going forward quickly. Um, uh, I think, oh, I think, yeah, that, that, that pretty much wraps it up. I would advise, I really encourage everyone to go back and look at the show that we did. It's about a two-hour show on Jessica's channel. I'll put the um, links in the comments and also put it up above in the description of the video itself. Um, <clears throat> these are one of the last videos I'm going to be doing, so my friend PC that runs this and edits this is leaving town. He's moving far away, states away. Much love, my friend, and to good fortune to you and your family. And uh, it's been a good run. So we've done this for eight years now, it has been, I believe, which is a long time. <laughs> 300 and about well, 400 videos if you count the Patreon ones. And thank you to everyone on Patreon. These would have stopped years ago if it was not the people on Patreon. There's only a few people there, but the video you're seeing now is a result of them. So I thank you very much and um, peace. Oh, please subscribe. Press the, the bell anyway. Keep it going. Subscribe. Please share the channel with people. Um, much love later. Peace.